Hey guys, I'm Lamutu Pro Beats and today I have a mix breakdown for you. Instead of doing the classic mix breakdown where I show you every single plugin that I use, I will still do that but really fast just to move through it because I already feel that I've done this a million times and the vocal chain is pretty much the same that I use. I just want to show you a few creative techniques that I've used in the track called Wow from Sanito. I will also have the session as a free download for the gold members so you can check the plugins out and you can check how the session works. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe and hit the like button. With that being said, let's get into it. This is how the session looks, it's a fairly simple session, mp3 beat and a few vocal tracks. I wanna play the track, then I wanna do a short session breakdown with the routing, with the vocal processing and after that we're gonna move on to the fun part, the creative mixing. <laughs> As you can hear the track is really spacious, I think that's sort of my signature sound and that's how I enjoy mixing. The session uses my mixing template, you can see it, it's exactly the same, exactly the same sends, exactly the same routing, so I'll have a link to that video in the description, you can check that out and see how the session is routed. As far as vocal processing, I will just open up the plugins, you can pause the video, EQ, RVox, C6, R Compressor, C4, and another C6, this is on the verse, on the hook bus, C4, C4 again, Fab Filter Pro Q3, R Compressor, Stereo Delta. On the special Vox bus, Pro Q3, R Vox, C6, R Compressor, C4, C6 and a Stereo Delta. Then on the main vocal bus where all the vocals are going, suit, now I'm using the version 2. CLA 2A, another Pro Q3, RX mouse de click, DSR, inflator, C6, and another Pro Q3. If you are a gold member, you can just download the session and see exact the settings. Now what I want to do is bypass all the plugins and play you what I had in the beginning. This is the starting point of the mix, just with the gain staging, this is how it sounded. Ich hab gar nicht besser, du bist das, was ich brauch All die Leute von früher schauen und denken, sie wow Was ist denn mit dem Leben? Und das ist mit all the processing Du bist das, was ich brauch All die Leute von früher schauen und denken, sie wow Ich will ein bisschen über the creative stuff that I've done in this uh, track. And for that, I want to open up my automation. As you can see, this is everything that I've done in terms of automation. I have some reverb throws, I have some transitions, and that's what I want to show you today. Small automation right here, it's on the beat, it's for the tape stop, and I really think that this is a cool transition. Very basic but with a huge impact. I also have on this part of the beat as an event effects this shaper box 2 doing some uh, filter movements. Next up this automation right here on the main hook delay throw Echo Boy and I wanted to emphasize certain words from uh, the hook main. That adds a bit of movement, it helps with the feeling of the hook. A volume automation on that beat break. I wanted this part right here just to increase in level when it hits on the next hook. Really subtle but it helps when it comes to impact. Then a bunch of automation on the verse. The automation is done on the same part of the break. I really wanted to make this part really interesting. This is what I had before the automation. Whoa, next stop, can't fight back. Whoa, yeah. Wow. 
it was nice, but it didn't have anything special. So the first automation move that I did was on this high verb. Because I wanted to add more ambience to it. The next automation lane is for the ping lay, this one. To add even more movement and even more ambience, the ping pong delay from Echo Boy. The next automation lane is for this RC20 retro color and I'm automating the digital control right here. Just to add some more impact to that last phrase. I think it adds some really nice character. The other automation lane is this time for the magnitude. I didn't want any processing done before of this section right here. This is for this reverb. Let's bypass everything else. After that, I have the delay eternity. This is a throw. Ping pong from left to right. The delay eternity bypassed exactly after the sec because I didn't want it to bleed in the hook. Next up, we have this section right here. And I'm automating the mix on this Fab Filter Saturn. Just to add some more texture on that specific phrase. And I also have some small other movements in the reverb, on the outro. The next thing that I want to show you is this part right here. I think that sounds pretty nice and pretty interesting. Let me bypass the processing and this is before. Not that much impact and let's bypass the main lead and this is before the processing. And this is with the processing. So I've added another layer of texture on it. And the plugin that's doing this is this uh, little altar boy, just the pitch up. And I'm also adding some character with the degrader. All that small automation really lifts up the, the section 
and adds some really nice impact before the last hook. I really hope that you enjoyed this mix breakdown. Thanks for watching. If you're a gold member, you can download the session right now. It's available on my website. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, hit the like button, follow me on Instagram, and see you guys next week. Ah.